What do you want to do in tennis? To win a Grand Slam or to become number one of the world? Do you feel ready to play in the ATP Tour? To do good results in the ATP, I think I'm ready. Carlos Alcaraz, one of the futures of the sport. The entire tennis world was in awe when Carlos Alcaraz won the US Open this year. Not because he isn't great, but because he's only 19 years old and no other teenager has managed to climb to the top of the men's ranking in tennis history. I trust myself, I trust in my game, I'm working hard to be able to compete against the players. I'm not afraid. Well, there's never been another Carlos Alcaraz before either. The team continues to take over the tennis world and with it he has seen an influx of zeros added to his bank account and for that reason we'd like to take a look at Carlos Alcaraz's lifestyle and net worth and get a better understanding of the Spanish superstar. Number 8. Carlos Alcaraz's Early Life Born on May 5, 2003, it wouldn't take Carlos Alcaraz Garfia long before he left his mark in the history books. But before we get to that, Alcaraz was born in El Palmar, Murcia, Spain, and grew up with his three siblings. He has an older brother, Alvaro, and two younger brothers, Sergio and Jaime. Now, we're sure it was a nightmare for the brothers to play Alcaraz in tennis growing up and maybe all sports, as Alcaraz's competitive spirit started from an early age. From a young age, Carlos took a liking to tennis because his father, Carlos Alcaraz Gonzalez, was a tennis player himself and reached as high as being ranked top 40 in Spain. It was my father who gave me my first racket. While his mother, Virginia Garfia, was busy managing the home life for her sons. Number 7. How He Started Tennis It's often the case for athletes that their children want to follow in their footsteps, and that's exactly what happened between Alcaraz and his father. At just four years old, Carlos began his tennis journey, which has taken him to heights that perhaps even he thought impossible at first. Alcaraz started out playing tennis at the Real Sociedad Club de Campo de Murcia. The decision came naturally as his father was the tennis academy director there. After working on a solid foundation, Alcaraz switched to Juan Carlos Ferrero's Equilite JC Ferrero Sport Academy in 2018. This move would take his tennis career to another level as Ferrero was previously ranked as the best tennis player in the world and has won the French Open before. Meanwhile, Alcaraz was ranked as high as world number 22 as a junior and he won two titles on the ITF junior circuit. At just 15 years old, Carlos decided to take on the challenge of being a pro and that move would pay dividends in the years to come. He goes to the court and he believes in himself and he thinks he's gonna win. Number 6. Career Achievements Currently, Alcaraz is only 19 years old, but has already tallied up several career achievements, his latest being winning the US Open in September of 2022. Not only was he the youngest to win the US Open, but he also became the first teenager to top the men's ranking. As it currently stands, he is ranked as the world number one singles player by the Association of Tennis Professionals. Carlos Alcaraz wins his first major, and in doing so, becomes the youngest ever world number one. And as we said earlier, he has made the history books in no time. Apart from the US Open win, Alcaraz has won five other ATP Tour single titles and two Masters 1000 titles. Carlos Alcaraz shines brightest in the Sunshine State as champion in his debut in a Masters 1000 final, picking up this prestigious title and he reigns supreme in the Magic City. Alcaraz has also made the third round in the Australian Open and the fourth round of Wimbledon. We're sure in the coming years he'll have a good shot at adding those prestigious titles to his name as well. Number 5. Various Sponsorships When you're young and great at what you do, the world really is yours for the taking, and Carlos is proving this point with all the great sponsors who have lined up to work with the Spanish superstar. Starting with one of the biggest brands in the world, Nike. Alcaraz's clothing and shoes are sponsored by Nike, and you can see him rocking them on the tennis court around the world. <laughs> tennis players often get their gear sponsored too. For Alcaraz, his rackets are sponsored by Babolat, which is a world-renowned sports company that has the likes of Rafael Nadal under their banner. Lastly, Rolex was quick to jump on board after seeing the emerging talent of the Spanish star and since January 2022, Alcaraz has become a brand ambassador for Rolex. Number 4. Pay 2022 has been an extremely profitable year for him. Starting with the Australian Open, he netted himself 221,000 Australian dollars. 
Well, in the ATP 500 in Rio de Janeiro, Alcaraz earned $317,400. At ATP Master 1000 Indian Wells, Alcaraz would further increase his bank account numbers as he added nearly $344,000. Well, at the ATP Master 1000 Miami, Alcaraz took home his largest paycheck of the year at the time as he had earned $1.2 million. At ATP 500 Barcelona, Alcaraz would earn himself €467,000 before another million-dollar payday at ATP Masters 1000 in Madrid. After several more six-figure wins, we come to his latest tournament win at the US Open. For winning that tournament, Alcaraz earned himself a cool $2.6 million, so it is safe to say that those tennis lessons when he was four years old were well worth it. Number three, social media presence. In today's environment, every celebrity or sports star needs an online presence, and Alcaraz is no different. However, he has a limited one compared to many others, as he is only active on Instagram. He has an ever-increasing following of 1.9 million on Instagram, where he often and post clips of his match preparation, highlights from recent events, his numerous trophy celebrations, and pictures of his contemporaries and idols. So to get a look at what Alcaraz is like, we suggest that you follow him and see for yourself. Number two, personal life. At 19 years old, we imagine the Spanish superstar has had his fair share of fun. However, that might not really be the case, as Alcaraz has been in a long relationship with Maria Gonzalez Jimenez. Maria is also a tennis player who competes for the Mercia Club de Tennis. Not much else is known about the lovely couple as they wish to keep their relationship away from the public eye, and hey, we can't blame them. It is hard to juggle a relationship and the limelight at the same time, but Alcaraz is doing it as good as anyone else. Number 1. His Net Worth Net worths are always a bit tricky to figure out. What we do know is that in his entire career, Alcaraz has earned over $9 million in prize money. However, that doesn't account for all of the sponsorship deals that he has, especially his most recent ones as he's grown in both popularity and stature. We're sure he's been negotiating with his companies as he is now one of the best tennis players in the world and will expect to be paid like one too. So don't be surprised if his net worth is well over $10 million and in the coming years he becomes one of the most lucrative tennis athletes in the world. So if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell beside it so that you're notified the next time we upload a new video. With that being said, you just watched the lifestyle and net worth of Carlos Alcaraz Garfia, and we'll see you next time. Yeah.